Well, I'm really happy to tell you about a discovery that my research team made recently at Vanderbilt. It's going to be published in the journal Cell. This discovery is that the element, chemical element bromine, is essential for the animal kingdom. That meaning from humans, worms, fish. Without bromine, you have no animal. That's the discovery. When I saw the original data that bromine was required to form this chemical bond that we discovered a few years ago, it's very exciting to say, oh my goodness, there is a very special role for the chemical element bromine. Now from that moment on, it would take an entire team of experts to prove it. But the very initial, I remember the day when I saw the original data that bromine may be critical for the animal kingdom. I didn't know it, you had to prove it. So I'm so excited today to say we have the scientific evidence that bromine is essential for the animal life. I'm really happy to introduce Scott McCall. He's a graduate student who's played a key role in the study. He's one of three first authors on the manuscript. Scott is a graduate student. He's also a medical student. And he has championed the experiments to show that bromine is essential in the fly. So one of the coolest parts of the study in figuring out that, that bromine actually was, was essential for life, which is one of those incredibly fundamental things to, to be able to claim, it, it, it really boiled down to, to being able to generate a Drosophila media where we, we could really test if bromine was essential. So take it away and see what happens and then add it back and see if it rescued it. And so what, after we did that, what we found is that those flies that were fed a normal diet wound up having a, a normal basement membrane and, and, and the tissue that we looked, a normal gut. When we took bromine away, what wound up happening is not just did the flies die, almost all of them, they didn't complete development, but the basement membranes in their intestines while they were still alive actually were incredibly shoddy and torn apart and wavy. Um, it, was, it was really profound. But then when we added bromine back, we were able to completely rescue what those basement membranes looked like and, and make sure that those animals survived again. And that, that really in many ways sort of cemented not just that bromine is important in biology, but in fact that it's, that it's essential. So one of the most exciting things about not just figuring out how, not just that bromine is essential, but the reasons that it's essential and the way in which it might be regulated winds up being the way that that can potentially affect human health. Because really at, at the end of the day, there's been multiple patient groups that, that are, have been shown to be bromine deficient currently. Um, and so those patients, approximately the 400,000 on dialysis or all those patients in the critical care units that are on total parental nutrition, those are patients that, that this study has the potential to really suggest a, an actionable intervention for them. The discovery of bromine as being an essential element is based on the teamwork of five people. Two graduate students, Scott McCall, Chris Cummings, a nephrology fellow, Jay Bob, a biochemist, Roberto Vanacor, and a cell biologist, Andre Page McCall, and I played a role in coordinating the team. 